Thousands are gathered in St. Peter's Square. The new Pope has yet to be selected. attack from an old enemy. Find Professor London. I'm Kyle Smith, film critic for the New York Post. The same team that brought you The Da Vinci Code is back, Ron Howard, the director, and Tom Hanks is back as Robert Langdon, the Harvard professor who was called in by the Vatican to solve uh, a heinous crime that's about to take place, which is that during a papal conclave, which is the meeting to decide the next pope after one pope has died, uh, four cardinals have been kidnapped and they're about to be killed, and also the entire Vatican's about to be blown up by a secret organization called the Illuminati that has existed for hundreds of years, and supposedly Galileo was one of its members. The Illuminati are dedicated to the task of destroying the church because they are scientists, they're secular, and they see the church as their most profound enemy. But the Illuminati were infiltrators. There wasn't a powerful organization on Earth they didn't penetrate, including the Vatican, by hiding in plain sight. Back again, the angel. He's the prophet that predicted the annihilation of the earth. Let angels guide thee on thy lofty quest. This is the first marker. The path is alive. It's a very long, very complicated story, and Ron Howard packs a lot of this 700 page book into a uh, two and a quarter hour movie, but a lot of it's left out. In my, in my view, the, the book is actually a little bit better, although the book's kind of badly written. Uh, has a, uh, a plot that really grabs you and moves you along, but I think it it's sort of goes too fast, and that is a problem in that you can't sort of solve the mystery along with uh, the Tom Hanks character, because you don't really know enough uh, as the movie goes along to guess what the next step might be. In, in a way, the movie cheats a little bit. It doesn't really let you uh, do the work of solving the problems yourself. So it, it's, it's a capable, competent thriller. I think that uh, it will draw a lot of the same people who saw The Da Vinci Code, and in a way it's a little bit of a snappier experience. Uh, but to my mind, it, uh, it, it tries to cram in too much too fast, and it's not a completely satisfying experience. So I'm giving Angels and Demons two and a half stars out of four. I'm Kyle Smith, film critic for The New York Post.